What's going on YouTube? This is Mag Dog TV. We back with another one. Where it looks like five star DB Kamani McLean is still sitting in the transfer portal. There's a lot of you out there that want my personal opinion as far as coming from a former player about this situation. We're gonna talk about that in a second, so let's get to it. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's Mad Dog TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. First thing first, I want you guys to understand something. For one, I am someone that has been in Kamani McLean's shoes before. Now, I've never had a problem with... You know, going to class on time, studying and all of those things. For me, it was just being patient, being a little bit coachable as well because I felt like I knew it all. I felt like I was good enough, too good sometimes in a lot of cases. And I decided to transfer. Now, it was no such thing as transfer portal when I was playing. When you transfer, you had to basically sit out a year and it puts you a year older every time you do so because you're having to sit out a year. Now, these guys can hit the transfer portal and it is what it is. So, you guys may also notice I'm a very honest person when I give my opinion as far as my days of playing the game of football and there's a lot of reasons because I have a lot of youth athletes that watch my channel a lot of young kids that actually watch my channel so I want to make sure they understand how I used to do things and I want them to not make the same mistakes that I make now let's talk about Kamani McClain a lot of you guys been asking me do you feel like Kamani McClain is going to sign with the power five do you feel like Kamani McClain is going to get that opportunity and all of those things now I do know his high school coach spoke on him as far as things that had to change with Kamani McClain as far as his attitude and not only that but it was a Florida thing he said as well a lot of Florida athletes have this mentality that Kamani McClain has and one of the things he loved about you know Coach Prime is he knew Coach Prime wasn't going to kiss his butt you know what I'm saying that's just pretty much a little small summary of what this high school coach said even with all of those things that's been said uh, I mean you have Keyshawn Johnson and Skip Bayless talking about Kamani McClain you know smoking the Eid and other things like that even with all of those things man I still feel like Kamani McClain is going to get an opportunity not only that but I feel like he deserves an opportunity because at the end of the day there's still a young kid that is still trying to find his way regardless of if you agree with the things he do things what he say and all of those things at the end of the day he's still a young kid that's trying to find his way not only that but he only made one mistake everybody deserves a second chance in my personal opinion and so at the end of the day regardless I feel like Kamani McClain is going to get things together now what team is going to give him that opportunity from what I see so far as of the latest? Utah is definitely a front runner as far as landing Kamani McClain. I have heard some talks of UCF and all of the and USF and all of those things. But lately, I haven't heard much as far as they go. I can tell you guys there were some big programs, big time programs that was definitely interested into Kamani McClain until he made that video, you know, bashing Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes. And I feel like that drew a lot of big time teams away because one thing about it, you don't sit there and throw, you know, your coach, especially Deion Sanders, under the roach, you know what I'm saying? Under the rope, you know, you don't do those things. And so uh, he's not the only one. There's some more football players that has played for Colorado that want to sit there and throw Coach Prime, Deion Sanders under the bus. And that's the worst thing to do because people don't realize there are more people that love primetime Deion Sanders than hate him. Why do you guys think everybody is always waiting and talking about Colorado Buffaloes? It's because of primetime Deion Sanders. So you just don't do those things. And so, you know, there are some guys that are still in the transfer portal as we speak that had that mentality. And they still have that mentality. But guess what? Being in the transfer portal is not going to help you get to the next level, nor is it going to hurt Coach Prime because at the end of the day, Coach Prime is still coaching, and his players are still playing. And you cannot get to the next level being in the transfer portal, just my personal opinion. But, yeah, I do feel like Kamani McClain is going to get another opportunity. Don't know what team is going to give him that chance. I know some of you may be saying to yourself, well, Kamani McClain been doing all this and that. Listen, there's programs out there that are very desperate in winning right now as we speak these guys getting nil deals it's pretty much a semi-pro league anyway and trust and believe me Kamani mcclain didn't commit 
a crime. You know, he just made some things. Uh, he, made, made, he just done some things off the field that he shouldn't have done. But, you know, I do feel like there's somebody out there that's going to give Kamani McClain a chance. And we're just going to have to sit back and wait. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Once Kamani McClain does sign with the football team, we're going to make sure we, we you know, we, or we announce those things. Because at the end of the day, he's a five-star DB. He's the number one ranked DB in 2023. And that is why a lot of people are still talking about him as we speak. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys feel like Kamani McClain deserve a second chance? How do you guys feel as far as the way Kamani McClain's been? doing things you know i know i haven't made a video on Kamani mcclain ever since his departure from colorado but i do realize a lot of people are talking about Kamani mcclain and a lot of those people haven't even played the game of football in their life and i just felt like this video was definitely uh needed to be made not only for you know Kamani mcclain but for other athletes out there because again you guys don't understand there's always two sides to the story so just because you hear one side don't mean the other side is not uh that does not matter you know what i'm saying at the end of the day Kamani mcclain made his mistake you know he's moved on from it he's still a young kid he's still trying to find his way and i'm very sure this man wants to play football so the worst thing that i do not want to see him as a former football player go through is the media and and everybody bashing him and having trying to take script what he love away from him and which is to play the game of football if i was his mentor if i was in his shoes man i would literally talk to him have him go apologize to colorado and get up out of the transfer portal if we keeping it a buck man because i really feel like there's no other program out there that's better for him than coach prime you know what i'm saying as far as that go that's just my personal opinion man but unfortunately he don't know me and everything like that so you know it is what it is man but i'm definitely rooting for the kid hopefully he can find a program that really cares about him as a human being drop a comment let me know if you guys agree or disagree and if you guys like the video definitely like, subscribe to the channel peace